staying so loyal and uh, checking out my few effect tests that I've been releasing lately. I want to make this tutorial short and sweet, so um, yeah, let's keep it under 10 minutes. Huh? Composition, new composition, and we're going to change the resolution into uh, 720p. You can choose it in a preset custom. You know, it's HDV, HDTV. And we're going to change the frame rate to 25. You know, if you want to change that, that's all up to you. Alright, that's cool. We're going to make a sky background color. Going to go to layer, new, solid. And keep that comp size. Now we're going to go to, the, you know, the color doesn't matter because we're going to apply a generate ramp effect. And we're going to choose a nice blue sky color. You know, let's keep it a little dark. We're going to bring the white coordinate down and the blue a little bit up. Maybe the white one a little bit more, more down. Alright, that looks good. We're going to rename this by pressing enter on the layer. Then, you know, sky background is good. Alright, now we're going to make the 3D clouds. Layer, new, solid, 3D clouds. Make composition, it's good. We're going to be using the effect trap code particular. Uh, you just see, you know, the standard particle spawning out of it, like always. Go to emitter, change that, you know, the emitter type to a box. The direction is directional. The velocity, we're going to change that to 30. The emitter size of the Y is one and the emitter size of the x the x and z is going to be 3000 by 3000 like that uh put 300 over here my bad 3000 yes all right and now we're going to go to particle the particle type is going to be a uh, cloudlet and the cloud feather we're going to bring it up to 100 you know, if you want to change that personally, you can go for that. Good luck with that. And the size, we're going to change that to 40. Also, you know, personal thing. Again, you can just play around with the settings, be creative. Size random, you know, there's something like 35. We don't want too much, you know, we don't want small clouds to be in there. And the opacity, we're going to change that to, let's say, something between 25 and 35. It's good. Alright. And because now we see the clouds popping up like that uh, we don't want that we you know we want the cloud field to be standing still so we're gonna choose the 3d clouds layer and pre-compose that and the pre-compose option is over here yours will probably be over here I lowered the resolution for tutorial purposes so we're gonna pre-compose the layer uh, leave all attributes in composition one this one's important select this one and press OK Right click on the pre-compose layer, go to time and go to time stretch. Now what this does, it stretches the animation and because this is not a keyed animation yet, we'll still keep a 25 frames per second animation. And press OK. Now what you'll see is just, you know, clouds popping up here and there very slowly. We're going to change the composition settings and the time to 10 minutes. Uh, increase the background length. Let me just dis disable this for now. Alright, and now we can move the composition to the left where we start to see, you know, a decent cloud field, like maybe. And now to, you know, remove the pop up you see here and there, it's very, it makes the effect look very bad. Um, to remove that, we go to we go to opacity over life and what we want to do is to make it fade in in the birth and fade out at death and you know the presets already here you can you know draw it yourself but it's not going to be as you know perfect as this all right and now we have removed the pop up all right now we want to change the look of the clouds because they look like you know white uh, spots on a you know blue color background all right, we're gonna go to um, shading, and this one's important. Uh, shadow let for main, and shadow let for aux. You know, you can turn them both on. 
that's onto you. And it makes the clouds, you know, look better. Now what we also what we also want to do is increase the life to um, 20 seconds around there. And uh, you know, just that just makes the clouds not pop in and out that much. We're going to be increasing the emitter size of the Y again to around 200. You know, just to make a nice cloud feel like that. And what we're gonna do lastly is go to color correction, curves, and you know, just bring the brightness a tad bit down, like that. Maybe a little bit more. You know, just to make it, just to make the shading look better. And that looks pretty good so far. You know, now we're gonna create a new camera. And uh, this camera, you know, um, if you take the camera tool, you can, you know, see how good this effect looks in 3D. You know, it looks pretty good. You can use it uh, for a lot of scenes. You know, like you can even change this effect to a uh, fox scene or you know, uh, a dusty scene or you know anything you have in mind concerning uh, clouds or dust or any of that kind. Alright, this is tutorial part one. This is, you know, um, the only part that you need to follow if you're creative with effects like this on your own. Uh, in part two, I'm just going to show, you know, a few tips and tricks for camera movement. Uh, I'm going to use a few nice effects, so uh, if you want to see that, that's cool. And uh, if you like this one, uh, subscribe, because that's very appreciated. I do check my mail. <laughs> And uh, I hope you find this uh, tutorial very useful. Thank you.